Yeah, that's right. You better run away. Stay on your side. <sighs> I can't think of a witty way to insult the North Korea dictator without it coming out super racist. So, North Korea! What do you want, America? This is between me and the South. Well, would you look at that? I'm rooting for the South twice in my life. Florida. Actually, that's a pretty solid joke. North Korea, if you do not cool your shit, I will allow South Korea to turn themselves into a fucking island. Keep your people on the other side of the demilitarized zone. You know war hasn't ended between y'all, just an armistice. It's like pausing the game for 70 years. America, I'm very happy for us working together, yeah. Is there not something I am privy to? I didn't mean to go behind anybody's back, but I figured you'd find out about it sooner or later. After the war in Ukraine, I can't produce HIMARS fast enough. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so I teamed up with the German company Rheinmetall, saying that with an English accent, because there's no way in hell I'll be able to say it with a German one. And we've created the Global Multiple Rocket Launch System. God damn it. Oh, but it gets better. Instead of being like a HIMARS that has one rocket pod, it's more similar to the MLRS or the M270 that has two pods on it. Double the fun. Fuck. Yeah, so not being able to produce enough is a, is a real good problem to have. Uh, Lockheed Martin teamed up with Ryan Metal, and uh, Boeing is doing Boeing things. You know, I say it's a good thing that we're getting to the bottom of all these problems, and all these whistleblowers. We're getting to the bottom of those. So how about a new plan? You take everybody who works there, stay with me, fire the fuck out of them, find whoever made me if they're still alive, and hire them to run the show. Uh, off topic, but I can't believe I'm saying this. Florida! Do not shoot at the Russian boats. I'm sorry. I thought this was America. Next thing I know, you're going to be telling me that I can't have remote-controlled boats full of explosives going out there to say hello. No, goddammit, Florida, don't do that either. That's bullshit. Ukraine gets all the fun. I'm sorry, we gotta play nice until they do something stupid. So, Rusky, how's it feel being in warmer waters for once? I'm glad you brought a tugboat with you. Why? So you have a way to get your boats home when they inevitably break down. America, you can act like you're not worried that I happen to have hypersonic missiles right off your coast. Oh god, change the record when it comes to your hypersonics. I'm not even worried a little bit. See, April of last year, my old Patriot system arrived in Ukraine. Towards the end of April, beginning of May, I can't remember the exact day, you were trying to figure out where they were, and they started shooting your stuff down, so you figured out where they were. Beginning of May, you fired one Kinzel, and it got shut the fuck down. 8th of May, last year, you fired everything you fucking had at it, and the system is still there. And then, you arrested everybody on your Kinzel program. Good times. We were investigating them long before that, and traitors will always be dealt with. Plus, you don't have any systems deployed in the United States that could stop any of my missiles. So all the air defense systems I have here that are used for training that all I gotta do is strap live missiles to and boom, I'm good to go? Or how about ground-based mid-course defense? Is that a joke to you? How about sea-based X-band radar? Or, or, my personal favorite, the three destroyers that have an onboard Aegis combat system that just smoked a fucking exo-atmospheric missile because they were bored. I have three destroyers and a P-8 Poseidon following you, which is three destroyers and half of a P-8 more than I need to turn you into a fucking coral reef.